Hello, everybody, and welcome back yet again to another drum playthrough review. Thank you all for tuning in and stopping by. Great to have everybody here. And for all you brand new, hi and welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a drummer and a multi-instrumentalist, and we do videos like these to learn from drummers who are much better than we are, analyze their technique into a nice and easy to digest form, and use that to make ourselves much better musicians than we could possibly imagine ourselves to be. And we got a really cool drummer on the channel today with a very, uh controversial band at this point in time taking a blanket and doesn't even say please that's crazy takes a blanket doesn't even say please can i have the blanket maybe true I, I will i love my mom so we're gonna be taking a look at luke holland today guys luke holland is a drummer that made his name known via youtube and via being one of the absolute best drummers on the scene today he's an absolutely fantastic drummer the dude can certainly play he's unbelievably good has insanely clean technique and his live performances are always fantastic Fantastic. He sounds just as good as his studio albums do. So, if you are unaware, Luke Holland has been touring and playing with the uh, very controversial band nowadays, with very controversial front man. Uh, you're gonna know who it is as soon as I say the name. Where he's playing with Falling in Reverse with Ronnie Radke. This is a uh, this is a live drum playthrough of their new song that they did, Ronald. And uh, this song, by the way, as soon as it hit instantly blew up. It's a song that features Alex Terrible from Slaughter to Prevail and Tech 9 which is not a combination that I thought was going to happen anytime soon. But the drum playthrough is insanely good and it's insanely great and I watched it a few times and I was like, you know what? Regardless of what you think of Ronnie Radke or Falling in Reverse or whatnot, the drum playthrough is pretty damn good. So we're going to take a look at it today because honestly it is, it is fantastic and the song is not half bad. I don't care what you say, Anthony Fantano. You've just got a little bit of a problem. But let's take a look at this because I think analyzing Luke Holland's technique is going to be really, uh, really beneficial to us today, especially with this song. There's a lot of stuff going on. So let's jump in without further ado, shall we? But first, did you guys know that according to the metrics, only about 6.3% of the people watching this video right now are subscribed to this channel? Come on, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Join the community. We got a lot of great content and a lot more fun content coming along the way. So stick around, hit subscribe, and be a part of the journey. All right. Well, let's dive in. Without further ado, Luke Holland plays Ronald from Falling in Reverse. It starts right out. But just looking at how he's playing the drums, it's very nice and energetic. And he's hitting hard. Bass technique's really good. That's just regular old full leg motion with a little bit of ankles. Some nice rhythm that's going on in here as well. And that snare sounds fantastic, man. I wonder what tuning that is. It sounds almost as good as the sleep token snare. It's really good sounding. And honestly, you have to give it to Ronnie. His death growls have gotten a lot of improvement after being friends with Alex for a little bit. For real. And then there's Tech Nine walking up on stage. This is Luke's little break. his little break so that way he can breathe before the breakdown. Nice 
nice breakdown too. I like it. And there's Alex Terrible on the corner of the screen there. He's putting everything he can into this playthrough right here. I will just say that for sure. He's putting all the power he can into this part. Even the bass drums, even if they're just triggered out, he's still like hitting it, which is good. A lot of good technique going on, a lot of good rudiment fills that are going on in there too. Yeah, that's, that sounds really good. As a drummer, Luke Holland is unmatched, dog. He is unmatched. Well, without further ado, guys, let's jump into the review side of things and let's talk about his technique because, dude, there's a lot going on there. A lot going on. Alrighty, so for starters, regardless of what you think of Falling in Reverse, Ronnie Radke, Alex Terrible, Tech 9 any of the people that are playing there in, in this song. As far as how the song is constructed from an instrument standpoint, it is very good. There's a lot of stuff going on on the drums that is uh, really nice and complimentary towards the bass, towards the guitars, towards even the vocals on certain parts. A lot of really cool little subdivisions that he's thrown in there with his cymbal work and it sounds really nice and clean. Let's talk about Luke Holland's technique there for a second. So for one, wrist technique. A lot of that. For certain parts as well, he's using some finger technique when it comes to some of the uh, little, I, I guess you can call them like, like rudiment fills, I guess, on the cymbals. There's definitely certain parts where he's kind of splitting up doing little patterns between his ride and his hi-hat, and he is using some really good finger technique in there. The one thing I will say for sure is that this song being more power driven, wrist technique being the main technique used in the song when it comes to his hands, definitely a very good choice there. When it comes to his legs, that is just straight up full leg motion, maybe a little bit of ankles on some of the faster parts, but dog, that is just straight up full leg power, regardless of it being triggered out or not, the dude is still putting all of his effort into it. Even just looking at how much sweat is coming off of him, and yes, a part of that sweat does come from the pyrotechnics that is going on all around him, because dude, pyrotechnics are hot as crap. So the fact that Luke Holland is sweating could also be partially from pyrotechnics, Techniques, but also partially from just how much effort he's putting into the song and the one thing I think that that shows you more than anything is Showmanship takes priority sometimes if you look at how he's playing if you look at how he's putting in all of his effort into the drums He's putting on a good show. He's putting on a nice and consistent performance That's going to sound just like the album if not better because the drums is what gets the crowd moving The drums is what people are gonna remember as the main like, you know beat driver That's what gets people to move their heads right and bob their heads along not just the nasty guitar riff and you know the really nice heavy clanky bass line it's the drums because the drums are the percussion element of things that's what really inspires the movement so Luke Holland putting in all of this effort that he can to you know absolutely beat the crap out of his drum kit is really good showmanship and it's a really good way to help drive the show so yeah with all that being said y'all absolutely fantastic I loved that playthrough it was absolutely amazing and awesome good job Luke Holland for all of you who are brand new to the channel don't forget to like share comment and subscribe leave a comment down below let me know what you guys thought of Luke Holland's playthrough let me know what you think of falling in reverse even spark that controversy in the comments and with all that being said y'all that's the end of this one so cheers have a great rest of your night and god bless i'll see you in the next episode